previous video, we discussed first and second heart sounds. The link is given in the video description and also seen in the right upper corner of the screen now. So after S1 and S2, in this video, we will discuss about third heart sound, S3. Unlike the S1 and S2, the third heart sound is not produced due to valve closure, but rather it is produced due to the vibration of the left ventricular wall during rapid ventricular filling during diastole. Therefore, in contrast to S1 and S2, the third heart sound is low-pitched. It coincides with rapid ventricular filling immediately after the opening of atrioventricular valves and is therefore heard after the second heart sound. It is best heard with the bell at the apex and is accentuated in the left lateral position during expiration. The cadence of S3 with S1 and S2 is as lub dub dum. It is a normal physiological finding in children, young adults, and in high output conditions such as febrile patients, pregnancy, and thyrotoxicosis. S3 is pathological after the age of 40 years. The most common causes of pathological S3 are left ventricular failure and mitral regurgitation. In heart failure, S3 occurs with a tachycardia, referred to as a gallop rhythm, and S1 and S2 are quiet. A right-sided S3 is rare, and if present is always abnormal. Right-sided S3 is heard best over the third, fourth, and fifth intercostal spaces along the left sternal border and over the epigastric area. It is more prominent during inspiration because of increased blood flow into the right ventricle. Right-sided S3 is audible in patients with right-sided heart failure, pulmonic regurgitation, or severe tricuspid insufficiency. And this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have found this video useful, share it with your colleagues as well, and like this video. See you in the next video.